Hello everyone, and welcome back to another part of Persona 4 Golden. Uh, my, <laughs> my avatar has been acting up lately, so uh, don't be surprised if there's some weird, funky stuff going on. I'm not quite sure why, but it just kind of is. So, yeah, it wasn't like this last night. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess we'll just try again. All right, let's go save her. Oh, I, I need to reset this. It looks janky. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. Now that actually looks decent. <laughs> Alright, so our party is going to consist of who we're going to use the rest of the game. So, Yukiko, Chie, and Naoto. That's our team. <laughs> and you're going to see why in a moment. It's so quiet. What's this bad feeling I'm getting? nanako -chan, just hang in there. We'll save you. Alright. Naoto, let's see what you can have equipped here. Um, that's definitely better than what you had before, so... That doesn't really do anything. Shoshin, no. Also, no. I'll save that for later. Magic by three. Yeah, I, I, I think that'd be nice. Um, agent suit. Sounds like it could be cool. Oh, that is definitely cool. But I, I want to keep like a theme going here, so. Let, let's see if we can try to match everyone. Okay, maybe. You know what? I have a better idea. Everyone, Halloween costumes. Maybe may be hard to take them seriously after this, but... <laughs> it's very silly, but... I love it. Let's see, do I need to move over some? Mm. I do feel like I'm a little too far to the left. Let's just fix that. There we go. I'm getting more and more anxious. I wonder why. Let's hurry, senpai. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. You know, oil work. That. <laughs> and also this. Oh, um, I could have set you to my command. Uh, I'm gonna use... Okay, idea. There we go. That's that knowledge coming through. Too. 
I like how I say something and just don't end up doing it. But that was pretty nice, I'll admit. Uh, yeah, it still won't be enough, but... Why not? I have two Emperor cards. I don't need to. Battle tactics. Now to direct commands. Here we go. because we get something better from her later. Also, let's just sit here for a moment, moment and listen to this music. If you all want to listen to it, the soundtrack name, I think, is Heaven, which is the same name of this place, so. For all of those who want to, like, make a playlist or something, I don't know. Out of all the Persona for Golden uh, songs, I would definitely add this in one of them. Like, no question. Definitely since Nanako chan's present here presence here. But um how do I put this? Something feels weird. This place really did come from Nanako chan's heart, right? Then why does something feel off? We shall soon find out. Oh a rare one! Don't let it get away! Like I said, broken. No way. Four more enemies are here. And that's that's not even the best part about her either. She has better things. It just goes up from here. The only detective prince that is actually decent. Ha 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 ha. Congratulations! I leveled up! Oh, there's the Agni Astra. Or Agni Yastra? I think. I leveled up! 
and Salvation, which is the most broken healing spell in the entire game. Holy restores party's HP and cures elements. Yep. You can see why it's broken. Now you know why I didn't go with the other one earlier. Um, so... Step down and kill. I mean, I already have that, so I'm going to replace it later on with Fire Amp. My skills have been honed. Blight. Have physical damage to all foes with a chance of poison. Poison, okay. Uh... Yeah, no. That's just kind of better, isn't it? First, let's heal. It is a bit on the expensive side as far as SP goes, but later on we're going to have a lot of SP items to play with, so... At least we get to try this out. Meteor rain. <laughs> it's so busted. Well done, everyone. You thought you were powerful in Persona 5 around this time. <laughs> Not saying that you aren't. But geez. I mean, Watch it. unless you count one strike. of the personas. <laughs> well, um, yeah, chess key. Mudo boost. Uh, since the paint. So let's get rid of this. <clears throat> up time. At least for now, anyway. Earth badge. Don't I already have this? No. Restores 4% HP at the start of the wearer's turn in battle. Yeah, not as great as it seems. stock. I can hear her. This must be Nanako-chan's voice. She's saying something, but it's too quiet to make out. Senpai, please find where the voice is coming from. <clears throat> mm. I just spilled water on myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. oh no, that's cold. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, no, my mouth is stuck. <laughs> Let me fix that. <laughs> uh oh. Um, let me let me just close the program. It'll be fine. <laughs> Let's see. 
Okay, that's great. No more open mouth thing. Okay, well, as long as it's not on my seat, I don't care. I can be covered in water, whatever. Oh my god. Of course it used counter then. Okay, now actually, um... I'm, mm -hmm. Don't tell me it's not working. Guys, Gia Senpai's really hurt. All right. <laughs> I, I, I guess we'll just leave the shirt off. Whatever. Anyways. Makatsu Zandrite. Right, Sounds pretty tough. My level has risen. No. Because we don't have any hum skills. This is too much. Okay, okay, hold on. There you go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mom? I gotta fix my avatar again. It's being weird. It's it's off. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's Nana Chan's voice. Mom. Where are you? Why did you disappear? Why did you leave me? Oh, come back! Are these... Nanako-chan's feelings? Oh. But I'm not lonely. I have Dad with me. I know he's always late coming home. And he never plays with me because he's so busy. He can't cook or do laundry either. He tries to be nice, though he is a little scary sometimes. But I love him. <laughs> Big Bro is with me now, too. So I'm not alone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not lonely. Little kid. Telling herself she's not lonely so she doesn't fall apart. You idiot. We'll ruin everything if we act all sad. We gotta greet her with a smile. Exactly. Look how hard she's trying. Come on. Nana-chan. What's the matter? Something's not right. There's someone here besides Nanako-chan. It was faint at first, so I couldn't tell for sure. But there's definitely another person here. And whoever this is, their power's getting stronger. Could it be Namatame? Did he duck in here after being cornered like Mitsuo? Perhaps so. It seemed as if he was particularly determined to kidnap Nanako-chan. But why? If he's the real culprit, he must know the dangers of coming into this world. I don't know. But if it is him, he may have entered from a TV near the site of the accident. Perhaps even the TV in his truck. Which means Nanako-chan may be in grave danger. We must hurry. Yes. With great haste. Get back here. Please don't reflect or counter. 
perfect. Mm, a chess key is nice. But yeah. <laughs> to get something better than that too. Just a chest. Probably nothing worth it, I'd say. Oh my gosh, my avatar froze. Ugh. What is with it today? My goodness. Oh, now as soon as I say something, look, look, there it is, and now it's fine. Unbelievable. I'm gonna take this, please and thank you, and goodbye. hear voices from somewhere. No, that's not it. I just wanted to live peacefully. That's it. Nanako-chan's presence is being drowned out. Please answer us, Nanako-chan. Don't worry, we're on our way to rescue you right now. No, no SOS. I'm sorry, SOS. My avatar is breaking. <laughs> I need help. I mean, do I may need to reset my computer or something. I don't know. My gosh, this is especially egregious. I may have to turn off my avatar for this video. It's not something I want to do, but it keeps acting up. Right, anything but physical, it's not going to take, so... Well, it'll take anything but physical, I mean, as in heal off of it. Transparency on. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
No, wrong one. Also, another wrong one. Yukiko. Thank you. There we go. Alright, what's in here? Ryu Ma Mayaku Brace. And that does what? All stats are increased by three. Okay. Okay, so that's just a better version of that then. Processes are even running in the background other than what I normally run. Because for some reason it's not liking this. Two processes of Discord for whatever reason. I mean, that could be playing a part in it for sure. Alright. What about now? Maybe that's better. I don't know. This place is nice. It's so quiet. I wish I could live here. Together with... Together? I is he with Nanako-chan? This isn't good, senpai. Let's hurry. Believe me, I am trying. Also, I don't know why there was two instances of Discord open. That's very odd. They look at my system tray and it's just like, yep. Two discords casually sitting there. Ooh, a real one. Don't let it get away. Uh oh. Chess keys. <laughs> You've become even more defensible. I up. My skills have been honed. No. It's level up time. Uh. No, that's not the way up. I... I discovered the new world. I must save people. Yes, only I can. This voice is getting closer. We're almost there. Hang in there, senpai. Will do. Once I scurry past this guy. Turn back. Stop getting in my way. 
Nah, too bad. Why are you getting in my way? I'm... I'm going to save this girl. No, you're not. Uh-oh. That one's immune to darkness. Go! Explosions are soon to come. Let's let's just throw out a basic attack, because why not? And that's the worst possible person I could have been hit by something. Alright. If you don't die from these next two attacks, I don't know what it will kill you. Yep. Thought so. Alright. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, one shutting bosses. It's fine. I'm worried about Nanako-chan. Senpai, let's hurry on. The only downside is that you use so much HP. And what is this way exactly? Let's do a little more looking. Oh no. Just a chest. Snuff soul. Not bad. My computer may be too hot right now. It's not. Ugh. It's really struggling right now. Alright, everyone. I'm sorry to do this, but I think I'm gonna have to uh, leave out the, the avatar for the rest of the video. I really don't want to, but that's what I gotta do then. I won't hand over this girl, no matter what. This time, for sure. What is he going to... Wait. What is he going to commit? Oh. Oh. No. Mm -mm. Oh. Now's not the time to be worrying about what he's got planned. We just need to focus on getting Nanako-chan back safe. Yeah. Uh, demonetization. In other words... I'm scared. Where are you, Mom? Dad, save me. We can hear Nanaka chan's voice. Senpai, she's just up ahead. I'm trying, I'm trying. Wait, what? Did this just walk through the door? Uh, uh, sure, why not, I guess. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. And more enemies Two afterwards. On the enemy side. Ugh. The lion jeez. Guys, Gia Senpai's really hurt. I'll finish it! Two enemies left. Don't lower your guard now. Uh. 
It's quite tenacious. Guys, Chia Senpai's really hurt. Okay, I get it. Stop saying that. Guys, please heal her. Please heal her. Please heal her. She's gonna die if you don't heal her right now. Two enemies left. Don't go real hard now. Ouch! That hurt! And they both missed. And the best tech that she can get. <laughs> All right, level up. Tesla coil. Just go ahead and heal before we jump into the battle. Chan is behind the gates. Open the door and enter? Of course. You don't have to ask me. Big bro! You mustn't go! Let's go of Nanako. I'm going to save this girl. Taro Namatame. It's definitely him. Then he did come in here. So you're the killer! Let go of her! Ah, uh, <laughs> you're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. Huh? Is this dude hide or something? Quit talking shit and let go of the girl! Don't, don't come near me! <gasps> Nanako-chan! Calm down, Kanji-kun. We can't predict his behavior. We have to keep him talking. If we can discern his intentions, perhaps we can somehow deal with him. Nanako is in danger. You should choose your words carefully. Why are you doing this? To save them. Nanako is in danger. Yep, yeah. okay. What is the Midnight Channel? People needing to be saved appear. That's why I put them in the TV. Let Nanako go. No, we must pull his attention away from Nanako chan. What could be more options? You can just you repeat the same the thing. You saw on the Midnight Channel into this world, am I correct? They all want to be saved. Did I ever ask you to save me? You didn't save us, damn it! It was the exact opposite! If I hadn't put you in the TV, how would you have ended up? How would we? Are you trying to say we wouldn't have been able to face ourselves? What? But we nearly died! Yes, exactly. You kidnapped them. Yes or no? Yes. Why did you target local residents who became known through the media? 
Why do these people appear on the Midnight Channel? On rainy nights. On TV. They signal me. You keep saying save this and save that. Are you saying murdering people is your idea of saving them? Murder? No. I'm saving them. How's that different, huh? All you're doing is killing people! <laughs> if you want to think that, go ahead. I know. You chased us all the way here to kill. <laughs> well, too bad. I'm gonna save her. <laughs> you asshole! You're not gonna get away with this! Shut the hell up! All right, time to party. <laughs> what a wonderful world! An unknown, unreachable place filled with pleasant fog. I'm a savior! It's filthy over there. So many evildoers. That's why I'm going to save them! I'm a savior! A righteous hero! Is that... A shadow? <laughs> April! I can't breathe! Nana-chan! Let's do this. Now, Senpai! Nana-chan! Nanako-chan? Nanako-chan! Bastard! How dare you! Give her back. I'm... I'm going to save her! I remember this part, not part, part being pretty hard. I, I'm going to save her! Don't interfere! How solid is his grasp on reality? I, I'm... Uni now Sugiri. No longer the same person. Um, it's a strong one. Don't lower your guard. 
right, let's change our persona to something else. Okay. Um, well then. She would have said something earlier. Trying to get as much damage as I can possibly get out. All right, it reverted, so. to heal. <laughs> I, I should, right? <laughs> uh, Diorama. That's one of them, but... Another Diorama. Okay, well... I'll just use that then. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, um... That's pretty bad whenever that happens. <laughs> this, this attack is not fun to deal with. <laughs> hey guys, you killed me. Ha ha ha. It's fine though, because we're all friends, right? hand bitch Go forth. 
and everything is missing. I don't like that fight. My skills have been honed. It's level up time. Damn it. Why? Nanako chan. She looks like she's in pain, but she doesn't seem to be injured anywhere. This place must not be good for her. We need to carry her out quick. We should take him with us as well. Yeah, we can't just leave him here, I guess. Nanako-chan, hang in there. <laughs> Nanako isn't waking up. What are we gonna do? She's so small. And she was stuck in there for so long. And then there was that weird fog. Damn it! The police and paramedics will be here shortly. Inaba Municipal Hospital in front of Nanako's room. Nanako isn't allowed any visitors. Nanachan's still small, so her other self didn't appear like everyone else. And she got caught in all that craziness. I hope she'll be okay. I mean, are the doctors going to be able to help her? <laughs> I'm worried about Nanachan. But there's nothing more we can do for her. A delivery man named Namatame. The possibility of Nanako-chan being targeted. If only I'd been more thorough in putting the facts together, then Nanako-chan wouldn't have had to go through this. That goes for me too. If I hadn't stood there like a lump in front of that bastard, Nanako-chan might have been okay. I hate myself. Why do I always panic when it matters most? I couldn't do anything either. I should have noticed sooner that something was wrong with that guy. Why did I waste time listening to what Namatame had to say? If I hadn't tried to engage him in conversation, and we'd rescued Nanako-chan immediately, this wouldn't have happened. No use saying that now. But I still... All right. Enough of this pity party. Is standing around and whining really what we ought to be doing now? Feeling pathetic, consoling each other? That gonna solve anything? We gotta believe in her. So stop rehashing what's already done. Get it together, Naoto! Sorry. You're absolutely right. This is all that bastard Namatame's fault. And he's behind bars now, right? And it ain't like we were too late for Nanako-chan. Yeah, that's true. I'll come see Nanachan every day so she'll get better faster. That's all we can do right now. Gee, Kanji. You sounded cool for a second there. Huh? You guys still here? Adachi-san, um, did they find out anything? Dojima-san's speaking with the doctor now, but they can't say anything definite until they run some tests on her. Not just Nanako-chan, but the perp too. Who knows when we'll be able to hear his story. Well... It's getting late, so hurry home. The last thing we need is for you guys to collapse, too. He's right. We should call it a night. Nanako-chan's gonna be fine. Acting all gloomy won't help anything. When Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, what should we do to celebrate? Dude, isn't it a little early for that? Why don't we reserve Juness and have a party there? A party at Juness? Uh, that makes no sense.
Nana-chan, she'll get better, right? Just believe in her. Yeah, I do believe in her. Let's all have fun with Nana-chan when she comes back. You sense Teddy's warm feelings for Nanako and strong trust in you. Thanks. I almost forgot how to keep a happy face. But with that out of the way, I'm feeling all hungry. <laughs> hey! Where did everyone go? Don't leave without me! You're done. You've done everything you can. All you can do now is to believe in Nanako and wait for her to recover. Inaba Municipal Hospital, Dojima's room. Huh? You didn't go home yet? Uh. You tell Dojima that Nanako is safe. I heard. Thanks. Dojima sighs deeply. <sighs> Nanako. I'm so relieved. Dojima-san? You awake? I guess it's no surprise. He was so stressed out over Nanako-chan. I'll stay with him tonight. You can go home and rest, even if it's just for a little while. I'll do that. Good. Nanako-chan's safe, and that's what matters. You really should get some rest. You sense Adachi's concern for you. Hurry and go. Your friends are waiting, aren't they? It's already late. You left Dojima with Adachi and went back. Good day. Good afternoon. Um, do you have any plans after school? I'd like you to come with me. Uh, I'll decide later. Oh. Oh, you already have plans. It seems I was a bit too late. Uh, please come talk to me when you have the time. I've got to check something first. And that's why the South Pole is colder than the North Pole. Well, speaking of cold, it got cold quickly this year. Remember to wear extra layers so you don't get sick. But ladies, it's no good to wear warm-ups under your skirts. Why? Because you can see your legs. Uh, that was a joke. Just my way of reminding you all to wear your school uniforms. Got it? Alright, back on topic. I'll ask a question about the South Pole. I'll pick you, Spooky-kun, since you don't have a button for- You don't even button the front of your uniform in cold weather. Which country do you think the South Pole belongs to? <clears throat> uh... Country do you think the South Pole belongs to? I don't think it was any of these. How do you know? I'm impressed. You're right. The South Pole doesn't belong to anyone. The Antarctic Treaty System of 1961 rules that all land below 60 degrees south latitude belongs to no nation. Similarly, the North Pole was not allowed to be any country either. In fact, there's no land at the North Pole. It's just ice floating on the ocean. <laughs> now, please, get to your textbooks. Let's go over the... You gave the correct answer. Uh, 
right. At least I need to be. So. Okay. Not here. Then what about over here? Unless it's at nighttime that I have to hang out with him. Now keep this in mind. None of this is necessarily required, but. Um. If you finish up Adachi's social link, which you have to do pretty fast, you get some extra dialogue with him, which is pretty cool. So that's what we're, why we're going to do it. I hope they allow Nanako-chan to have visitors soon. Of course, there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, if you don't mind, I'm free today. Yes. Yes, please. I'm gonna go off flight plane. Nato is thinking carefully as she stares at the two cards laid out in front of her. These cards, these cards came from Shiroku's store. When I talked to the owner, her description matched the one you gave. This phantom thief purchased these cards mere days before handing one to you. Is it a calling card? If that's the case, it's hard to imagine that any elaborate process was performed on the card. Although, I do detect the faint lingering scent of citrus. A very weak cologne, perhaps. What should I do? Burn it. Hmm. Burn it? Reduce it, to, reduce it to ashes? I don't suppose there's anything inside. Uh. Oh. Nanaho? <laughs> Naoto has realized something. Excuse me. Impossible. Could it be? Your house is closer. Let's go test it out now. You headed to your house, practically dragged by Naoto. Your house. As you toast the card with the fire from the stove, burnt letters appear. It really was invisible ink. The citrus juices straining the paper burn first, making it legible. Damn. A grown man employing such childish tricks. And the sentence here. The card reads as follows. Eating letters with a red face. Eating letters with a red face. This is... A mailbox. I see. Ah, indeed it is. You're good with riddles, I see. Nato smiles. She seems to be having fun. A mailbox. There was one in the shopping district. Let's go. Central shopping district at the mailbox next to Daedra. It seems there was something hidden behind the mailbox. This is... Grandpa had this? Why did he keep it? What was it? Oh gosh, no. Huh? huh? It, well, uh, that's not what I wanted to say, but sure, I definitely said it. Huh? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Nato's face is red for some reason. I made this when I was a child. It's a... A detective badge. It has no real function, though. A petty challenge, and the prize was the stolen detective badge. I have no idea who the Phantom Thief might be, but none as his, but none as to his motive. This is an important case to me, and yet without you, I'd never been able to crack it. Rather, I wouldn't have bothered. You have my gratitude. Thank you, Spooky Son. Nato is showing you her unconcealed smile, a rare occurrence. You feel your relationship with Nato has grown deeper. Normally I'd think this isn't the time to play along with such games, but... I, uh... I think I'll let this play out, and, um... If possible... You're on your own. <laughs> no. Let's do it. 
Um, huh? yes. Oh, yes, let's. <laughs> Nato is blushing. I'll see you again. We walked home Nato to her house and went home. Walk Nato to her house. Jeez, come on. You notice how the music changed once Nanika left? Or was in the hospital? That's so depressing. Mm -mm. I, I don't want to be in this house right now. Too sad. What's up, Rise? Senpai. Huh? Senpai? <laughs> wow, pretty lucky I happened to run into you this hour. I just finished helping at the store. <laughs> I accidentally tore my sleeve on my uniform the other day. Just when I was cursing my luck, Andy fixed it in quick. Finished. <laughs> fixed it up quick with a sewing kit. It came out looking better than it did before. I ripped it. He was good, but that really was something. Actually, isn't he a little ahead of me when it comes to girl stuff? Have faith in yourself. Wait, uh -huh. you're right. I'm not gonna let him outgirl me. I'm gonna go out of practice. Hmm, <laughs> where should I start? I wonder if Teddy has any ribs in his costume. We say it's fired up. But have you noticed Kanji's pretty cold to me? I thanked him for the help and he told me to shut up. Oh, do you think he's embarrassed? Almost definitely. You enjoyed your idle chat with Rise. You feel your relationship with Rise has grown stronger. Oh! Oh wow! It's this late already? Sorry, I gotta get back. Oh, but before I go, hey, give me your hand, Senpai. I want you to have it, Senpai. Rainbow Competo. Ta-da! Surprise present! <laughs> Did I get you? Well, good night, Senpai. Good night, Senpai. You parted with Risei and went home. Good day. Mm, decide later. Oh. I'm sorry. I will come back to you if there is nothing happening. <laughs> but I have priorities. And that priority is Adachi. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Samagawa Floodplain. Nato brought a new challenge from the Phantom Thief. This was in my mailbox this morning. The Phantom Thieves know where I live. <laughs> Which means he had another reason for having you deliver the first card. Why you, though? Because we looked close. Huh? What are you saying? That can't be it. Don't blurt out such ridiculous nonsense. Nato is panicking fiercely. So then, what do you think of the contents of this card? The card reads as follows. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. By the large seven at the third is the spot I chose. More cryptic this time. Well, I anticipated that. The first thing that comes to mind when the f with fruit tree is the original card. But the second sentence... By the seven at the third. What do these numerical values mean? When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. By the large seven at the third in the is the spot I chose. Seven and three o'clock, maybe? No, there's nothing particular about those particular positions. Nato is sighing. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. It's incomprehensible. Seven and third? 
When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. Look at the third and seventh words. Banks and tree. In other words, why the large tree in the banks is the spot I chose. I anyway, let's search for the biggest tree at the river's banks. At the river banks. I knew it. This watch brings back memories. Naoto holds a digital watch, slightly large for a child's wrist. <laughs> this is pretty advanced, you know. It's one of my seven tools of the detective. It has extremely strong backlight. You can use it to blind the enemy. I modified it when I was a child. I've always loved this sort of thing ever since childhood. I preferred robots and cars to dolls and teddy bears. I liked high places, so I had a secret base in the trees. I enjoyed that. Why? Why couldn't I have been born male? It would have been much easier for me. I could have done what I wanted with Gusto. It's funny, isn't it? Your gender doesn't matter. Senpai. Spooky son. Now that I have people who say that to me, what right have I to complain? Nata is smiling sadly. Really, it's quite difficult to keep my composure when you're around. I feel like I'm being lectured, like I'm still a child. Nata looks at her feet, embarrassed. You feel your relationship with Naoto has grown deeper. It, it seems I've been doing all the talking. Why don't you tell me about yourself? What are you like as a child? I wish I could have seen it. I'll see you again. You chatted idly with Naoto, then went home. Now, if I were to do that by myself, I'd just be sad. I know it's a waste, but. No. Okay, Adachi isn't here, so... Bowling pin. Pistol, Rainbow Quartz, and Yazoo Stone. Hmm. Well, I do not have enough of those, clearly. So let's go ahead and catch some bugs. Huh? Yo, Spooky. It's been getting pretty cold lately, huh? Hey, if you don't have anything to do, want to talk for a while? Yosuke seems bored. He might appreciate it if you talked with him. You already have an inseparable bond with Yosuke. Hello. Oh, hang out with him. <sighs> Man, the culture festival was hell. Word about the cross-dressing pageant spread further than I thought. I've been an utter laughing stock. Uh, this sucks. It's all their fault, you know? Be confident in yourself. That's What's cool, with the hardest steel? It's something else. It, it, no, really. Yusuke is impressed. Well, they did have to go through the beauty pageant, so... I can't get too mad at them. 
Oh yeah, did you hear? After the beauty pageant, Team Naoto. You enjoyed your idle chat with Yosuke. Whoa. Oh crap, look at the time. There was a lot more I wanted to talk about, but I guess we should get home. Oh, by the way, you think you can use this? I thought it might come in handy for something. You can have this. Medical kit. Well, have a safe walk home. Let's talk again some other time. Alright. And what's Juness look like now? No added Adachi. Well, in that case. If anyone isn't there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get the crops by myself. But I'm not going to plant anymore. I'm just going to grab the crops and go to bed. <laughs> Nothing. I don't want to plant anything. I want to go to sleep. I guess. Again? Let's just occupy ourselves by working on a model or something. You silently and diligently assembled the complex piece pieces according to the instructions. You almost cut off a piece that you weren't supposed to. Okay, the model is not complete. You can keep working on it later. Sometimes while learning about history, we forget that history is still alive and with us today. The Welfwitz, yeah, is a plant in the Nemib Desert. Some individual specimens may be over, maybe more than 2,000 years old. It must be very handy being able to survive cool desert conditions for 20 centuries. And. It's truly surprising that the two main leaves continue to grow for that entire time. I'm very curious about their overflowing will to live. Oh, were you listening, Spooky? What desert in is the Wellwitzia fountain? Namib. Good job. You got it right. I bet you're proud of yourself. The Wellwitzia is a really old plant living in the N Namib Desert. I 
wonder if I'll gain some of its powers for immortality if I manage to get one of my own. Oh, but don't tell any of the other female teachers that. I don't need that competition. <laughs> It's unlikely, but I'm still gonna check. Okay. Alright, uh, let me look up something real quick. Once my phone starts being weird. Mm. Oh. All right. Rank one, two. As long as you reach rank 6 by November 1st, the final ranks with the Dachi social link will progress automatically. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's easy then. Then I don't have to do anything more. I could just spend time with friends or whatever. Sorry if you hear my niece in the background. She she's a baby. And she likes to cry and make a bunch of noise. As babies do. Actually, let's go around riding. No, 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 no. Long ride. Perfect. Because you got lost so lost, it's nearly night time, but you feel as if you've gotten a very good feel for the place. If you ride around a little more, you'll be completely familiar with the area. Your courage has increased. Alright, um... There's just something I want to do then. Because if I don't have to worry about um, actually meeting up with the Dachi to progress it, then I'm going to fuse some stuff. Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. Hmm? There's a piece of paper on the floor. Come to think of it, the last paper you found here belonged to Marie. Something is written on it in cute handwriting. Sifo, listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid, fated to foam. This appears to be a poem. Her sense of poetry is difficult to comment on. What? Did, did you read it? You read it, didn't you? I said no. N no, it's not like that. It's a... It, it's not a poem. It, yeah. I'm not yelling at the edge of the world. That isn't the... It, that... This is not a poem. Um, it, 
I don't know what I'm saying. I, oh, my words are coming out. I... Stupid, I hate you, jerk. I can't believe this. Like, don't read my things. Marie blushes furiously. It would seem that Marie was just the author of the poem you just read. But why was it on the floor? I don't get it. Marie sulkily returns to her seat. Ah, it seems that you've completed over half the social links. How wonderful for you. Well then, please take this. Your commitment to the social links will become your commitment to your world. I look forward to seeing your world. Received metal bats. Let's do... Okay. We need one. Uh... No. Triangle fusion. Raphael is pretty good. You already get Megadola, so I'm just gonna get this, that, uh, Marunda, and Survive Light. I am Raphael. I will shield you and heal your wounds. Alright, more personas, please. What is this? Oh, I see. Well, thank you for asking about the fusion forecast. A persona born through fusion can be granted various abilities depending on the day of the fusion is performed. The results and triggers vary day by day and can be seen in the fusion forecast. There may also be unexpected results, so I advise to please remember to check your fusions before you commit. Trigger none. Effect bonus stats. Use a persona of the Magician Arcana in fusion. Bonus electrical skill, bonus social link AXP. Okay, so I've just fused a, a magician or kind of. Okay. Need something like this. But actually, I feel like we can get something a bit better. Can we not? This moon and emperor. Hmm. I nah, I'm good. Not unless I'm getting something like uh, 
a really strong lightning persona, which I can't get right now. Do I even have access to that person anyways? It seems I do not. Okay then. I could look up a fusion calculator, but I don't care enough. Tomorrow, if no one asks us out, then we are going to probably go to the hospital. I don't know if they'll accept stuff right now, but we'll see. Stuff, I mean people. I guess I can't. Well, alright then. I'm gonna go a floodplain. Nato seems to be thinking about something. To tell you the truth, I haven't been in contact with Grandpa lately. I wanted to confirm the items I assumed the Phantom Thief stole, but... Our secretary, Yaku Shiji-san, passed along a message saying that he went to visit a, an ailing friend in America. Since then, I haven't been able to reach either Grandpa or Yaku Shiji-san's cell phone. Well, there's no point in worrying about them now. I'm sure they're fine. On to business. I received a new challenge in the mail today. The card reads as follows. Jury to not rest or route for fable. Minus 40, minus 4. The sentence is written as, gib as gibberish. Is this part of the riddle? And this minus 40, minus 4. On its own, it means nothing. Perhaps the minus is part of something. Subtract 40 and 4? Huh? Subtract 40. Aha! Subtract 40 from the sentence. Nato's eyes light up. Jury to not rest or route for fable. From there, you should subtract 40 and 4. Notice the unnatural comma in the phrase. It corresponds to the two numbers. Subtract the letters in 40 from the first part, and the ones in 4 from the second. Which remains is Juness Table. Juness Table. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Wow. Juness Food Court. There was something taped to the underside of the table. I knew it was here. Nato produces a large ballpoint pen. This is another one of the seven detective tools I made. You can use it as a normal pin, but it also has a pin light and a miniature telescope. I thought I had lost this. I didn't think Grandpa still had it. <laughs> Either way, my Grandpa nor myself can stand and to throw things away. When this pin was still mine, 
I was just a child dreaming of becoming a detective. But being a man or a woman, I never thought about it. The lack of peers to compare myself to might have contributed to that. I had no friends. I was quite the outsider of then, then too. But why is that compared to this time I spent utterly alone? I worry more now that I'm with you than the others. I feel that I'm undergoing a change. People change. Is that how it goes? I don't really understand. Nato is looking down piteously. Piteously. The need to change and the desire to remain the same. They're mixed together. And it scares me. Nata looks smaller than ever before. That she would show you this side of herself must be a, sh a sign that she has opened her heart to you. Spooky son, have you ever felt like that before? I want to hear about you. I'll see you again. You chatted idly with Nato, then went home. Alrighty. So we completed that model, so we're gonna put it on our thingy here. Lovely. Our Gundam collection is going nicely. But we must get more. Our hunt is yet not yet finished. Oh, it's you. I just found something good. Model scooter. There aren't many varieties of this model. This is a domestic brand, so there's no need to fill any in any cracks. It's round all over, making it fun to sand. Man, I just polish it clean every day. But if you sand too much, you'll end up just saving the seams. But the molds as well. And then you'll want to reshape. Huh? Oh, that's enough? Alright, anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing you finish it. Amazing. It looks exactly like ours. There's still like a man that needs help with something. I thought I'd finally begin to understand everything at my age, but I guess not. No siree. Even when you're this old, you still find and out new things about yourself. I figured I'd gotten wiser since I was your age, but I've also held on to stuff I shouldn't... I should have let go a long time ago. There's a lot to be ashamed of in a long life, but it sure keeps things interesting. <laughs> you better just enjoy getting older, okay? You have some time? I have a small request if you're not busy. You ever taken a walk around here at night? It's nice in the day and all, but at night you can get a real change of scenery. I enjoy it. There's no city lights, all the stores are closed, and it's so quiet you can hear the river. 
Only problem is you gotta watch your step. It's so dark you don't wanna... You don't know where your feet are landing. Suppose I could carry a flashlight, but... It could... It kind of ruins the atmosphere. I think it'd be alright if I had a lamp, maybe. But even that I... That would be a pain in the neck to hold. And the wind would just blow it out. So I was thinking that an eternal lamp or something might be nice. I could find you one. You know where to find one? Are you serious? Ugh, if I had one, I'd sure be happy. I think you can bring me one here. I'll have a little something waiting for you in return. I think I get that from talking to the, uh... Uh... Not talking. And beating the lantern enemies. It's at the Kanishi liquor store. Alright. I guess while I'm out running errands anyway. It's a liquor store. Cases of various alcohols are stacked on top of each other. didn't win anything. I can win something? No, I will win something here. Oh, it's out of stock. That sucks. All right, what was the request exactly? <laughs> be able to converse better. I don't want to hurt people with the rude things I say when I'm nervous. Oh? Yeah, I'm not sure what that could be. Oh, well. There's something to do anyway. Hello. Hello, Senpai. Are you... How are you today? I must say it's useful having a scooter. Now I understand why people living in these areas own cars. I just recently filled the tank in mine. How would you like to go for a ride, time permitting? It seems Nato wants to go somewhere on your scooters. Go out with Nato? Hot springs? Mm -hmm. That sounds quite relaxing. Uh, well, we obviously bathe in separate springs, yes? It's quite all right. In that case, let's be off. My shoulders have been aching for some time. The hot springs. You came here with Nato. You hear a voice of the women's section of the hot springs. And by... Are you there? I can't believe it. I'm the only one on this side. I can completely relax. I was a little wary at first, but I'm glad I took you up on the offer. Hmm. I'm getting sleepy. You enjoyed the hot springs with Nato. You feel like the time is right for an in-depth conversation with Nato. What will you talk about? Talk about the future. Hmm. The future, huh? Well, I'm a bit on the fence about... 
You decide to speak with Nata about the future. Something changed inside Naito. Inside Naito. Yeah, so for this, basically, you can just get skills and stuff. And on certain dates, you can uh, get, like, for really good stuff. Okay, so that one man said walk around the bank at night. Okay, I walked around the area. Oh, you- <laughs> That was for the lamp, I'm a dumbass, I'm sorry. Since I have nothing to do, I'll just build a model. Yes, more models. Wait, what did it say? Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see, listings. Nope. Just trying to max this social link as soon as I can. All right, our collection is almost finished. Just two more. Hey, Spooky. Oh, what are you doing at this hour? If you're bored, then let's talk. You've got nothing else to do. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. I saw you at the culture festival. Well, uh, you know. You fought the fight. Don't let it get to you. What you did helped me make the contest a success. The sports teams are already talking about you. What? What to do next year? Losers have to enter the cross-dressing pageant. Can't afford to lose. I'm gonna win next time. Oh, that's. Are you serious? You're more into this than I thought. Dusky looks surprised. Yeah, but you're not gonna be here next year, huh? Well, we still have a long way to go. Let's not think about it. already this late. I have to go. Do you want this? Ko gave me some, but I don't need- I don't think I need this much. This is- Cop drop. God, that sounds good right now. Reading all this. I do have several in my cabinet, so I can grab some. Or not cabinet, drawer.
more model building. Senpai, can you come home with me after class today? Oh, come with me after You didn't say home, my bad. Will you spend the day with Nato? Thank you. Thank you. To tell you the truth, I have received information about the Phantom Thief. I'll come pick you up later. shopping district. You came here with Nato to search for the Phantom Thief based on the information she gathered. I have learned that in these recent days a suspicious man has been spotted around the shopping district. He isn't a local and his parents seem to mark him as a tourist or, or a shopper. I talked to the owner of the Shiroku store and she said that she saw the man only a few hours ago. She confirmed it to be the same man who bought the card. Brought the card. If that's true, then he's likely looking for the next hiding place for one of the stolen items. We may be able to catch him in the act. You seem happy. Huh? Huh? Is that what you think? Um... Um, well, I'm not unhappy. It's just, I have a complicated feelings on the matter. A wry smile appears on Nato's face. If my deductions are correct, there are two things remaining that the Phantom Thief has stolen. And if so, I'm quite certain that he is going to hide that one. Perhaps he is... Anyway, we're in the area. Could he hide something unnoticed? I have an idea. Let's go, Senpai. Tatsuhime Shrine. Your. The man brandished a knife. Jeez, okay. Um. Well, he looks kind of old, so I don't think he can run that fast. So, let's, uh. Let's just run away. Senpai. Spooky son, there's no need for alarm. The knife is a toy. Oh. The man dropped the knife and ran away. The knife. I knew it. It's, it's another one of the seven tools I made. This is a knife shaped radio, as I said. It's just a toy. I consider you a friend as well, so please don't go do these rash things any longer. I apologize. I'm sorry for involving you in this. We've almost reached the end. Just a little more and I think it'll be over. For some reason the thought is not a cheering one. I've never had a case like this before. Nato is smiling helplessly. You feel your relationship with Nato has grown deeper. That's alright, but Chie gets an ability that completely makes that useless. I'm going home now. I have research to do. You needn't worry about the Phantom Thief case any longer. I'll explain later, once everything calms down. You, you watched again. Nata run off and went home by yourself.
Awesome. You overhear students talking. Wow, look at those clouds. I heard the weather's going to get worse starting tomorrow. Don't tell me the fog's gonna come back. Give me a break. One of these days, I'm gonna get hurt in the dark on my way home from cram school. Why don't I start walking you home tomorrow, senpai? I want you all to know I'm not motivated to do anything right now. As soon as you discover something's wrong, the sour just gets stuck with, stick with you. Really, don't rush into marriage. Not that young people like you would understand until you've made your mistake. Ugh, I just want a beer. Oh yes, speaking of marriage and beer, alcohol has to do with the roots of the word bridal. Do you know Hanamura-kun? Huh? What? Why me? Hey, wait. What was the question? Is that even a textbook? The Roots of Bridal. What? Hmm. Bride Sake? No, it comes from Bride Ale. It seems this, this came out because England... Because in England, ale was drunk during festivals and merry gatherings. And you can't go through marriage without a drink or two anyway. What does this have to do with math? Thanks, though. I wasn't listening at all. Sorry, Yosuke. I am a bit unfamiliar with that. Let's go. I just realized I don't have a fortune arcana persona. I should have gotten that earlier. Alright. To the shopping district to get another model. Wait, no. Better idea. We can do all of these. Hospital janitor. The others. Tutor. Take those two. Those two are other social links. The tutor is the tower, I think. And... The other one is Devil. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's start this social link. Inaba Municipal Hospital at Hallway. You busily clean the dark, silent hallways. Hmm? You thought you heard something from down the hall. You decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. Your courage has increased. Hmm? What do you want? If your shift is over, then go home. You can hear bits and pieces of the conversation between the doctor and the nurse. After patrolling the empty room. <laughs> oh, were you listening? Oh, you're cute. You're the student who started working here today, right? I'll show you something fun the next time you're here. How about you don't? I'll see you again. I really hope you don't. <laughs> mm. Mm. It, it's, it's another one of those social links I don't like very much. <clears throat> and 
it's raining, so... Nothing here in this location. Something mountain. No. Can I go there now? I see. I cannot. Might as well just ride my scooter or something. You are able to make it to the beach. Your courage has increased. Uh, I'm sorry, swimming in the rain sounds really dumb. All right, we'll, we'll just leave. We unlocked that place, so that's cool. Guess we can just head here. Try to raise this social link up. The movies, hmm? I believe that my schedule permits me to take some time to relax. I hear the sounds of people in the background. Are you at the theater already? Alright, I will meet you there. Very sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Are we the only two here? But then that would. Oh. Let's go. Uh. Oh, nothing. Uh, never mind. Uh, let's watch the movie. You and Nato take a take in a movie together. That hurt. Your heart fluttered watching an elegant, fun love story unfolding in the city of Rome. Neat. You enjoyed watching the movie with Nato. Something inside of Nato changed in response to the movie. I don't really go to the theater much because I don't have anyone to go with. It's nice to watch a movie with company. I wouldn't mind doing that again. That was enjoyable. Don't hesitate to invite me out again in the future. You decide to go home. Awesome. We gotta level up. Ooh. Okay. Well, I can't read the logs right now, but if you're suggesting that I go work at the, damn it, hospital, <laughs> then I guess I should do that. <laughs> See, what are my personas? Temperance, priestess, strength, aeon, moon, emperor, chariot. Empress. Devil. Hmm. Well, let me try to get one of tower. Is it in the compendium or something? Let's see, tower. Yep, nothing. Alright then, let's just get random personas, I guess. Kind of mesh them together. 
figure out what gives me white. <laughs> Give me a tower persona, please. This arrangement. There we go. There's one. Um, before we do that, I want to commit this one to the compendium. Oh, okay. So it's already saved. I guess I'll just do that one. Can't hurt. Alright, triangle arrangement. There we go. Alright. Meki Dola, Masihonga, Masaku Kaja. Giant feature. Let's see. View compendium. Justice. Oh, it's in the strength. Never mind. It's not. Then where is it? We'll just sort through level. There it is. It's the lovers. God, that makes no sense. Oh, well, whatever. All right. Now we can freely do the social links. Actually, uh, let's see. Social link Nato is. Hmm. I need a fortune arcana. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure how I'm gonna get it. We shall see. I don't need Moon or Aeon right now, I don't think. First Sun Chariot, Hierophant, Strength, Magician, Devil, Justice. Getting a fortune or kinda. Screw that. <laughs> K 
Hinaba Municipal Hospital, Empty Hospital Room. He busily cleaned the recently vacated hospital room. You feel someone watching you. You decided to pretend not to notice and continue cleaning. Oh, is someone else here? Nice work. Oh, it's you, the student worker. I see you're doing your job. I'm sorry I haven't introduced myself. I'm Sayoko Uehara. Nice to meet you. The nurse seems kind. When you're done here, come on by the nurse's station. I'll pour you some hot coffee. <laughs> Just kidding. I hear you're a high schooler. <laughs> Your skin is so smooth. Hey, you know what I'm getting at, don't you? Don't worry, no one will see. I'm not interested. Oh, how adorable. <laughs> I like you. When's the next time you're coming? I'll adjust my shift. Looks like even a town like this has something fun to do. You feel you can feel mischievous affection coming from Sayoko. You feel a faint bond forming between yourself and Sayoko. Creepy lady. I'll see you again. She wants to wear my skin. Okay, more raining. I don't know why I'm going there. This doesn't make a lot of sense, too. Just gonna go home and make a model. You can work as a tutor today. Alright then. I guess I will. I'm Shu Nakajima. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, he's just a shy boy. But he's smart, you know? He's got the highest score in his class in the last test, and the teacher... Mom! E enough of that. We're going to study now, so get out. Well, of course, dear. I don't want to bother you while you're learning. But still, Spooky-kun, was it? I hear Yasugami High scores are standing... Yasugami's high... <laughs> high scores are starting to climb up there. She was already in, in second year of middle school. So we need to start thinking of applying to high schoolers. Well, knowing him, I'm not worried about getting into a good school. But when it's time for college... Mom, that's enough, I said. Oh my, I guess you're right. Well then, Spooky-kun, please make sure you teach him well. Study hard, Shuchan, okay? Spooky son, right? Let me tell you up front. I have no intention of attending Asagami High. The cram school I was going to isn't that good, so I decided I needed to switch to private tutoring. You were the only one available, so... If I think you're inadequate, I'll have you replaced immediately. Remember that. Oh my god! 
You don't fight fire with fire in this situation. Nice to meet you. Same here. Then, what should we start with? I don't have any subjects that I'm particularly bad at. You feel confident that you should teach him. Math. That's fine. You tutored Shu. Shu. He grasps concepts quickly. He answers the problems you have for him in no time at all. You worked hard in explaining the subject to him in an easy-to-understand manner. Your expression has increased. Your knowledge has increased. We'll continue next time. You were a good tutor. It was easy for me to understand what you were talking about. I'm sure my natural intelligence had something to do with that as well, of course. You're more than welcome to come again whenever you have the time. I'll keep working at my own pace, so, uh, please teach me again. You were accepted as a new tutor. You have become acquaintances with Shu Nakajima, the snooty tutoring poop pupil. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Shu. and yen from the tutoring job. That's pretty good. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up. You have the day off from school today. You've done everything you could do. All you can do now is wait for Nanako's recovery. What should you do today? Yeah, home shopping program. Angel shirt. This is really nothing I can do here, actually. All right, I'll just go inside. <laughs> on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. It seems the fog will set in tonight. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Nanako has been rescued and they were able to res arrest the culprit. There's probably no need to watch the Midnight Channel anymore. Fog is covering the town. The fog from yesterday is still here this morning. Oh, there he is! Take a look at this. Namatame is in today's paper. The front page's headline article says that Namatame has regained un has regained consciousness. Today before dawn, the suspect Taro Namatame, who had been confined in a local hospital, regained consciousness. Oh gosh. In response to police questioning, he testified that he will be he is sorry for what he has done and, and was scared. 
From here on, the police were hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's de depositions. So it's finally over. Sorry, I just got a cough drop because I'm going to be recording longer. Yeah, seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? But it's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness! Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. I was not Matame doing. He's regained consciousness, but it's hard to say. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. That son of a bitch! Yeah, well... I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke. Sorry. I'm alright. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him! Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course! Let's tell the others once we get to school. Yes. That sounds like a good idea. Oh gosh, I love the menthol. Very soothing. Just a reminder, the finals are next week. How's your studying going? Though you may be very busy with your studies, make sure you keep up with personal grooming. Every year, some boys come stumbling into the class with stubble on their chins. Of course, their five o'clock shadow is more than five day shadow. Speaking of facial hair, some nations used to impose a tax on facial hair. In 18th century Russia, they also had a hat tax, bath tax, laundry tax, chimney tax, and more to fund their military. There sure were taxing times, so <laughs> be sure to take this down. You never know what will be on the test, just like you never know what will be tax taxed next. You listen to the lecture intently. Taxes sucks. Nanako, everyone's here to see you. All right, let's try something here. I don't know how it's gonna run, but uh, if I just load this up, will it be okay? Okay, it looks like it's fine so far. Talking seems to be painful for her. Nevertheless, Nanako looks happy. Dojima san! Ugh. How many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest too. Sorry. Um, are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well, my wounds are just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Take it easy. I'm okay. Cause you came. <sighs> Nanako closed her eyes with a relieved expression. She seems to have fallen asleep. Mm. You 
received an explanation concerning Nanako's condition from the doctor. Her condition is stable for now, but uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatame? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased, which is quite unusual. Is the fog poisonous? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup... Well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Nanako has somehow regained consciousness, but it seems that it will only take more time until she fully recovers. Namatame's inter interrogation that has finally begun. The fog won't lift, and people's mysterious health problems. For now, it seems that you can only watch and wait to see how things will turn out. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. It I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Hmm, what experts are you talking about, lady? Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. The fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. Hmm. Well, you see... Your mind has a lot to do with how you feel. <laughs> You can't be serious. <laughs> oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. Business has been so slow lately. Honestly, I'm of the mindset that, like, 
things only affect you. <laughs> well, it, okay, <laughs> maybe I should rephrase that. If you uh, let it get to you, it gets worse. And if it isn't something that will affect you physically, like on its own, and if you believe that it will, then it probably will. Hey. Or at least you're going to believe wholeheartedly that it is and be affected by it and mentally. So in other words, stop believing in things so much. Uh, if you don't want it to hurt you, I guess. I don't know. You overhear students talking. The weather's really weird lately. What's up with all this fog? This fog looks like it's going to stay here forever. But I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's why some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also heard it's poisonous. Very toxic. Nobody even knows why it's toxic. Man, just thinking about how toxic it is make me, makes me feel ill. I should probably stay home for a while. You're just being too lazy. Finals beginning next week, aren't you? Hmm? Aren't they? Question mark. I didn't read that right then. Um, do you have spare time today? Did I see you after class? If you do? Thank you. Thank you. You see, there is someone I would like you to meet. I will come for you afterwards. So be it then. <laughs> it's seriously too cold now. Such a painful season. If you've got back pain. Oh, see? Speaking of back pain, that's a deity. There's a deity that makes your back hurt. It's a titan named Atlas. Do you know about him? He's often depicted carrying the earth on his shoulders. And it looks really heavy. It makes me hurt just looking at it. And atlases are also used in geography class. Do you know what they are? Well then, Spooky Coon, who doesn't look like he'd know? Jeez, what a douche. Do you know what an atlas is? Mm, compass. <laughs> That's wrong. The correct answer is a book of maps. Oh gosh, I, I knew it had something to do with like navigation, geography. My bad. It has been a while. Merc Mercator's book of maps featured a large picture of atlas on the cover. Note the spelling, it's spelled A-T-L-A-S, okay? I mean, how else would you spell it? Well, there's always... Ow, ow, ow. Oh, my back. You gave the incorrect answer. That is fine. I get most of them right, so... I'm not that worried. Samagawa Floodplain. The man in the black in black you met before is waiting here. Fog has enveloped the area. I am Yakushiji, secretary of the Shirogane estate. I humbly apologize for the other day. I must also apologize. Though I may not have known, I involved you in this. It was an act put on by my grandpa. My master has been terribly saddened by Naoto-sama's state of affairs lately. Lacking acquaintances to confide in, she devotes every fiber of her being to work. My master wanted Naoto-sama to regain the joy she felt in days past. To regain the feelings when all that she wanted was to be a detective, regardless of her heritage or gender. <sighs> I involved you at my own discretion, believing you to be trustworthy. 
Please forgive me. I received this from Yakushiji-san. It's the final challenge. The card reads as follows. I did what you can't stand at a place you'd be fond of. But underneath, rather than inside. A place I'd be fond of. Somewhere bright. Hmm. I don't especially like them. Okay, somewhere quiet. Somewhere quiet. Nato is tilting her head. If it has to do with my childhood, then it's probably somewhere high. Remember? I told you before that I made a secret base in the trees. Oh, that's right. The highest place around here is... The hill. Next, what I can't stand to do. There are several possibilities, but... Throwing things away? That's right! Did I mention that before? Nato has an embarrassed smile on her face. Considering what's at the hill, the most likely answer is the trash can. I have an inkling of what might be there. Let's go, senpai. The hill overlooking the town. Block has enveloped the area. It seems there was something taped to the bottom of the trash can. I forgot this thing even existed. It's the last of the seven tools. The detective's pocketbook. <sighs> All the things I had forgotten about are packed in here. I think Grandpa wanted to remind me of them. This childish game. He's selfish indeed. Forcing me to recall all this now. I was trying so hard. Not to be underestimated. Not to be condescended to. <sighs> you calm down and upset not. <laughs> and upset. Naoto. If I solve this town's murder case, then everyone would accept me. They would acknowledge me as the fifth in the Shiragane lineage of detectives. That's what I told myself. I just wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be needed. That's why I fretted and stood on my tiptoes and focused only on solving the case. But the original reason I wanted to become a detective it was because mysteries intrigued me, and I could help people by solving them. That's all. I remember now. Do you recall the time I faced myself in the TV world? It was my task to accept the self who yelled, I want a reason for me to stay. But my reason to stay was not solely to solve the crime. You, everyone, gave me a reason. You gave me a place to stay. Nato is trying to smile through her tears. I have to be an adult. I have to be a man. With that way of thinking, I was running for myself. I don't need to look for something to change or something to accomplish. I only need to have faith in myself. I finally think I can accept myself. That I'm a woman. That I haven't yet become the detective I wanted to be. I... I am a woman. And a detective. One who is seeking the truth with you and the others. You can sense Nato's strong will. You feel your relationship with Nato has grown deeper. I came to this town. It's where you and I live. And all the others, too. Yes, indeed. Okay, everyone. I haven't... Um... I haven't come up with a thumbnail. So... Um, let's 
be just find a good spot to stand here. All right, that seems good. Is there any way I can remove the HUD here? No, I can't. All right then, um, well. All right, okay everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this very long video. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, as always, everyone, I hope you all have a magnificent day. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if you, you know, you want to. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, everyone, I will see you all again in the next video. But until then, of course. Goodbye for now.